Cryptocurrencies have become increasingly popular over the past several years. As of 2022, there are tens of thousands of them, and the number is constantly growing. The stunning rise of the cryptocurrency industry over the past several years has attracted many people, investors, as well as bystanders. While some saw the lucrative opportunity to make money relatively quickly, others followed a more patient approach by reading and understanding the business. Whether you're interested in a career as a blockchain developer or you're an investor looking to learn more about the crypto market or you just want to keep up with the latest trends in tech, understanding the types of cryptocurrency and how they work will help you in making the right investment decision or keep you updated. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy channel. In this video, I will break down the three types of cryptocurrencies, their functions and the investment benefits they offer. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. We have come a long way from the first cryptocurrency, but there is still little known about this decentralized form of finance. And while many people continue to jump on the bandwagon of crypto investors hoping that the buzz takes them to financial freedom, a lot of them find that not all cryptocurrencies are measured equal. Safe to say Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, remains the best known today. But there have been shock slips and crashes here and there with this currency which makes investors turn their sights to the several thousand just like it. Generally, cryptocurrencies fall into two categories, coins and tokens. Though many people use the words coins and tokens interchangeably, it's important to understand how they differ from one another in order to gain a basic understanding of cryptocurrency. When Bitcoin first came out, it set the standard for what it means to be a coin. There are clear-cut qualities that distinguish crypto coins from tokens, which are similar to real-world money. Coins are digital money created using encryption techniques that store value over time. Basically, it is a digital equivalent of money. Bitcoin is the most famous example. Bitcoin is based on blockchain, public and distributed digital ledger, where all transactions can be seen. Data is stored collectively and shared between participants of blockchain network. Blockchain guarantees transparency and reduces fraud. There are coins based on Bitcoin's original protocol, created by Satoshi Nakamoto and open to the public like Litecoin, Namecoin and coins that operate on blockchain created specifically for them like Ripple and Monero. Coins have the same characteristics as money. They are fungible, divisible, acceptable, portable, durable, and have limited supply. Most ambitious crypto enthusiasts insist that coins will replace conventional money in the future. Unlike coins, tokens do not have their blockchain. Instead, they operate on other crypto coins blockchains, such as Ethereum. Some of the most commonly seen tokens on Ethereum include BAT, BNT, Tether, and various stable coins like the USDC. If crypto coin transactions are handled by blockchain, then tokens rely on smart contracts. They're an array of codes that facilitate trades or payments between users. Each blockchain uses its smart contract. For example, Ethereum uses ERC20 and NEO uses NEP5. When a token is spent, it physically moves from one place to another. A great example of this is the trading of NFT or non-fungible tokens. They are one-of-a-kind items, so a change in ownership must be manually handled. NFT often carry only sentimental or artistic values, so in a way, they're similar to utility tokens, except you can't oblige any services. This is different from coins because crypto coins do not move around, only account balances change. When you transfer money from your bank to someone else's, your money doesn't go anywhere. The bank changed the balances of both accounts and kept the fees. The same thing happens with blockchain, the balance in your wallet changes and the transaction notes that. Another notable difference between tokens and coins is what they represent. While crypto coins are essentially digital versions of money, tokens can stand for assets or deeds. You could buy tokens with coins, but some tokens can carry more value than any of them. For example, a company's share. However, since there are usually restrictions to where you can spend a token, it doesn't have the liquidity a coin offers. Simply put, a token represents what you own, while a coin denotes what you're capable of owning. On a broader scale of things, tokens existed long before cryptocurrency was a thing. Even today, it has very little to do with crypto at all. Another interesting thing about tokens is how easy it is to create one. Some networks like Ethereum provide templates where you can brand your tokens and start trading. This makes it so anyone with little to no technical knowledge can become a market maker. While you will find several types of tokens and coins like utility tokens, asset-backed tokens, and security tokens, in the crypto world there is only one type of token worth knowing which will be listed among the three types of cryptocurrencies that every investor or just about anyone should know. 1. Standalone Coins Standalone coins refer to any cryptocurrency that has a standalone independent blockchain. These cryptocurrencies are bootstrapped from scratch and the broader network is designed explicitly to achieve a certain goal. For example, 
Bitcoin exists as a censorship-resistant store of value and medium of exchange that has a secure, fixed monetary policy. Another example of a coin, Ethereum's Ether ETH is the native coin of a smart contracts platform for creating general-purpose computer programs that run on a decentralized blockchain. Bitcoin and Ether are the biggest and most valuable cryptocurrencies right now. Both of them use blockchain technology in which transactions are added to a container called a block, and a chain of blocks is created in which data cannot be altered. For both, the currency is mined using a method called proof-of-work involving a mathematical puzzle that needs to be solved before a block can be added to the blockchain. There are thousands of other coins apart from Bitcoin and Ethereum, with the most famous examples being Litecoin, Ripple, and Dogecoin. Collectively, all coins apart from Bitcoin are known as altcoins. 2. Non-fungible tokens NFT are digital assets that exist on the blockchain. Each NFT is a unique property that cannot be traded for another. That's why they are non-fungible. This gives meaning to the name NFT, which is short for non-fungible token. You can exchange a fungible asset for another asset of equal value. A dollar bill is fungible, so you can trade it for another dollar bill or buy a cup of coffee worth a dollar. But you cannot exchange an NFT and get a similar NFT in return. Each NFT is a unique blockchain item, complete with its digital signature. NFT thrive on scarcity like one-of-a-kind Pokemon cards, original Renaissance-era paintings, or limited edition Nike sneakers. Because NFT have a digital signature, you can always prove ownership and validity. To verify if someone owns an NFT, simply cross-check the meta information with publicly accessible blockchain records. NFT are created, minted, and stored on a blockchain. Most NFT were minted on the Ethereum blockchain in the early days, although other blockchains now offer them. An NFT can be a digital representation of virtual or physical items. That includes artwork, music, GIFs, video snippets, allograms, images, if it has a digital footprint, it's NFT material. Even Twitter founder Jack Dorsey's first tweet is an NFT worth $2.9 million. Rarity increases the value of NFT. At least that explains why some are burning over millions of dollars for them. Owning an NFT gives bragging rights, just like owning an original Da Vinci painting or an autographed Harry Potter novel. 3. Stablecoins Stablecoins are a type of cryptocurrency that is built to offer more stability than other crypto coins. Some are actually backed by a reserve of the asset they represent. Others use algorithms or other methods to keep their values from fluctuating too much. Stablecoins have become a key component of a developing class of products known as DeFi or decentralized finance, in which transactions can be carried out without a middleman, such as a bank or broker. And some stablecoins, such as Tether and USD Coin, are among those with the highest market capitalizations on the cryptocurrency market. Stablecoins are backed by multiple sources, including fiat currency, meaning traditional currencies like the US dollars in your bank account, other cryptocurrencies, precious metals, and algorithmic functions. But a crypto's backing source can affect its risk level. A fiat-backed stablecoin, for instance, may be more stable because it is linked to a centralized financial system, which has an authority figure like a central bank that can step in and control prices when valuations are volatile. Stablecoins that are linked to centralized financial systems, like a Bitcoin-backed stablecoin, may change drastically and quickly in part because there is no regulating body controlling what the stablecoin is pegged to. The value of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether fluctuates a lot, sometimes by the minute. The fact that stablecoins are pegged to a more stable currency gives buyers and sellers certainty that the value of their tokens won't rise or crash unpredictably in the near future. That wraps up the types of cryptocurrencies that you should know before investing. The cryptocurrency market is a wild west, so those speculating on these digital assets should not put in more money than they can afford to lose. Volatility can be intense with crypto assets fluctuating significantly even in a single day. And individual investors can be trading against highly sophisticated players, making it a fraud experience for novices. As an investor, this guide to the three types of cryptocurrency provides a grounding in what cryptocurrencies represent and how and why they differ from each other. This can help you decide how best to invest in crypto. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.